Uh, hey, Monica, just so you know, we were going to choose you anyway, so, you know, you didn't have to do that, but... Wait, we could have picked any of the other girls, because it moved it kind of slowly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we could have picked Natsuki or Yuri. But, she I mean, would have been mad, though. Yeah, she would have been mad. I wanted to pick Monica anyway. Yay, you picked me. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. Uh, Natsuki, sorry, but this is a sentient privilege, all right? You are simply too coded to understand. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all the work, then taking a bell for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I <laughs> Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. Oh shit. I'm unreasonable. <laughs> oh god. Oh shit. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how deluded and self-important you are. Oh. Pulling a bell away from me every single time. You're not even included in something? Oh. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you're just hating yourself so much that you take it out on others. <laughs> oh my ever god. Damn. Considered killing yourself? It would be most beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Bro, she is. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want to do is spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Abel! Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out of the door. No, don't worry, don't leave me. <laughs> no! Monica! Finally. Oh. What bro, she's gonna start what eating us, bro. Oh. Shit. Do you, do you hear that female breathing? No, I don't hear shit. It's too quiet, my guy. It's probably the music volume. You hear the female breathing, right? Yeah, now oh we do. Oh my god. Damn, Yuri. There's a closet back there. Go fucking rub it out. Go flick your bean. <laughs> She's giggling! She's giggling! <laughs> Finally. This really is all I wanted. A bell. There's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Oh, Just come shit. to my house instead. The whole day. With just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you so is so is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. Oh, she's cooking. It feels so I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone to care about you so much? To have someone want that wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, why does it feel more and more like something horrible is about going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling's too strong now. I don't care anymore, Abel. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Mm. Oh, this is the message. Have a nice weekend. This is just filler. No. So that's just Monica telling us have a nice weekend. Okay. Thank you, Monica. I'll see you on Sunday. If I live. Oh, did I say that already? I don't care anymore, Abel. I have to tell you. I'm... I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. Damn. Please, Abel. Just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I want to touch myself with the pen I stole from you. That oh no that that <laughs> I that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. Damn. Crazy. <laughs> I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. Please don't. It's so weird to be saying my name to the shit. <laughs> I want you all to myself, and I'll be only yours. Abel. Huh? Is this Riz? Ah, uh, it's something. <laughs> But is it Riz? It's, is it, will is this it work Riz? On you, I mean, probably, nigga. Does like, it work I'm, on you? <laughs> yeah, I, like, I'm, I'll be like, yo, I'll be like, shit. As long as you promise not to kill me, we vibing. She just said she'd cut you open and go inside of you. <laughs> I mean, like, not metaphorically, right? 
I yeah, like metaphorically, oh, that's your own thing. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I see, I see. Like, I, like I'd literally just be like, metaphorically, right? <laughs> and if you don't say nothing, then never mind. Uh, I think this is uh, somewhere beyond Riz, in my opinion. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Abel. Tell me that you want to be my lover. Do you oh, accept my confession? Fuck. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. I, 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 Monica's listening. We said. Yeah. Monica said. We said just, just Monica, Monica, and we said yes. No, just say yes. To you can lie. You can. Nah, you can be. Nah, you can. Nah, she can be the sneaky link. No. Nah. She can be the sneaky link. <laughs> That's There's, crazy. Okay, Monica is all seeing, all knowing. There is no sneaky link, all right? Natsuki tried to slip us a paper. Monica saw. <laughs> she fucking saw. No, I no, accept Yuri's confession, please. No, I don't want. No, I'm scared. No. Just say yes. No. Just say yes. I know you're scared, no. but I I want to talk. To the only one who's actually alive. Just okay. say yes. I, say yes. Say no. I'm saying no. Yes. I'm saying no. no. Say yes. Hey, hey, Yuri, Yuri. <laughs> Too much goon, all right? Too much goon. No, no, it's Riz. This is not uh, Riz. Not Riz, Bill. Uh, I know you're listening, Monica. We did that for you, okay? You better save us when she pulls out the knife here. My God. <gasps> Um. Told you to say yes, you dumb fuck. Hey, at least you didn't kill us. Abel, I'm what fine do you with mean, you, dumb fuck, Abel. Abel, I don't want to say it's a good thing, but <laughs> you know, like at this point, all we have left, Abel, is is going for Monica. There is no other option but going for Monica. That is it. Oh my god. If she didn't kill herself, Monica would have killed her. And I, I want, would have rather I her be murdered than her to kill to herself. Monica. She would I'd have rather... killed us. She would have eaten a bell. What does that even say, bro? Oh. Uh. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of the things I love. Now that you're a club member, you can help me make that dream come true in this cute game. Every day is full of chit chat and fun activities with all of my adorable and unique club members. Sayori, who is dead, the youthful bundle of sunshine who values happiness the most. Natsuki, the deceivingly cute girl who packs an assertive punch. And Yuri, also dead, the timid and mysterious one who finds comfort in the world of books. And of course, me, the leader of the club, that's me. I already said that. I'm super excited for you to make friends with everyone and help the literature club become a more intimate place for all my members. But I can tell already that you're a sweetheart. Will you promise to spend the most time with me? <laughs> Welcome to the literature club and we're repeating and we're repeating and we're repeating and we are repeating. Will you promise me? Will you promise me? Will you promise me? I promise. That's why she's dead. Oh my god, why'd you kill her, man? She killed yeah. herself. She killed herself. And that's not our fault. Yep. I mean, yeah, it kind of is. You shouldn't have rejected her. We shouldn't have rejected her? <laughs> About, I, there was no way I was going to click yes. Zero percent chance. You know she what happened? I, I, we, we, I want to speak to Monica, okay? <laughs> Abel, we didn't kill Sayori, and she killed herself anyway. That's okay, it. well, there's two things. In this sense, we could say she killed herself because she got rejected. But, like, the other one is that she could have killed herself because of... Fuck, man. Oh, you gotta kill someone again. On the plus side, Abel, you now have significantly less lines. You know what? I was more surprised when Sayori killed herself than right now that Yuri killed herself. Oh, yeah, because the game was already off the rails by the time Yuri kills herself, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. I feel like it was just bound to happen. Damn, she's dead. Well? Yeah, what am I going to do? Say, I don't know. Fucking no, I'm sad that she killed herself. No, no, read the line. <laughs> killed Sayori. My Sayori. Uh, Damn, what could she possibly be saying, bro, while she's dying? I, mean, I think you just speedrun it. Speed on our way right into a jump scare. Damn, Wait, she has a lot to say. Fuck. Ain't she supposed to be dead? Oh, 
Oh wait, is this gonna go on forever? We have to go to the main menu, maybe? I don't think so. I think we have to go to the main menu. Because remember when Sayori died, uh... Oh, well, the game ended by itself, and then we went to the main menu. Never mind. Alright guys, start memorizing them. We'll see if they repeat. Okay, Nick. Did that say Pelosi? What the fuck? Oh, I've seen that one before! I think we do have to go to the main menu. Okay, maybe not. I'm not seeing it again. Okay, uh, guys, I think we have to... It's even an empty slot. Uh... Yeah, we have to go to the main menu. <laughs> Wait, what if we press skip? Oh. I think that's what we were supposed to- OH SHIT! It's night time! Are you pressing skip? Oh, she's getting more, uh, more, uh, pale. You see that? Are you just gonna watch her fucking slowly die? Okay. Yeah. I really don't want to look at this. Oh. <gasps> yeah, I think this is her body decaying. But I can just go all the way through. Let's hold it. Amazing. Hey, it's festival time. <laughs> oh, are they gonna find her? We never left. Wow, you got here before me? <laughs> she looks a little scary too. You didn't scream, you gotta scream. Oh, like scream? Yeah. Get a scream, do the roar. <laughs> I don't think it's really, I think it's more of a, what the fuck? I think it's, it's not a roar. Wait, Monica deleted it! Have a nice weekend is gone! Gary. Isn't that so you gonna think <gasps> we did it? I don't know. Did that pick it up? No. No. For what? I need to scream, bro. <laughs> like, think about oh. it. Like, she just saw that body. Just scream. I'm screaming. It's not picking it up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> was that good? Yeah, that was yeah. good. That was good. Okay. Oh, shit! Oh. Natsuki runs away. Ah. <sighs> I'm here! Abel, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <sighs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Abel? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. <laughs> I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make up to you, okay? Just give me a second. Wait, her! <laughs> I'm almost done. They got files. Oh, shit! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I think this is like the ending. Well. It's just her. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from Natsuki's tray and eats a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? It should only take a second. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay! There you are! Are we in space? That is a very no. good question. You finally get the time you want, Monica. Speak to us. Hi again, Abel. Um, <laughs> welcome to the literature club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, um, uh, <laughs> you know, 
I guess we could just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? You don't know what's funny? Mm. She doesn't know she's talking to three people. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that you in the game, whatever you want to call him, I'm talking to you, Abel. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. What if I told you we were both, Monica? You're well, a hermaphrodite? But you said you're both. Because we're, we're two boys and one girl. <laughs> so, you know, we're both. Oh. Well, that, 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 that makes sense. Never mind. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? I, I think we know this by now. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you. Right on the game's download page, didn't I? Did what? you? Man. We're going to go check real quick. Uh, we'll go fact, fact check that real quick. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi, Monica here. About this game. Oh, shit. Hi, Monica here. Cute game. <laughs> There's okay. no point in That's saving anymore. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough them. for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, and since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. It's not like we could choose to be with you. You made them fall in love with you. Yeah, we didn't have a choice there, Monica. It was, uh, you know, the game's kind of written against you. Mm. You probably couldn't tell, though. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed, oh, would prevent her from confessing to you. And, and, and amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired, too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Abel? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I was to watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And, and it's not just jealousy, Abel. It's, it's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and, and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. The pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And, and worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world. Forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, the bell. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I, I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Abel. I, I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. 
I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I, I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you had the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. You see a bell? What? She was just erasing files. Yeah. Okay, so? So? <laughs> <laughs> I still liked those files. If somebody, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If if I have like a poster and then you just burn it, I'm not gonna be like, oh, it's just a poster. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna be like, no, it's a fucking poster. I don't care if it's real or not. It's my fucking stuff, man. It's crazy. And I really like the poster. That is crazy. So that being said, Abel, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Abel, will you go out with me? <laughs> nice options you give us here. <laughs> I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Abel. The funny part is, and I mean that literally. Oh, that's true. That's sad. We really are her everything. <laughs> so sad. There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We could make it if we try. Just the two of us. We can be for. Oh fuck. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It 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 really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Abel. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And and you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It, it kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult to get to the game directory. I had to go into the game's properties and find the browse local files button. And imagine uh -huh. if you could delete your own existence with a click of a button. Well, mm. I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, Did we finally got a good ending. Yenya? So we can also delete characters? Yeah, technically. So technically but we could erase Monica? Yeah, we could. I want to see where the game goes, though. Yeah. Probably her yapping about shit. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to you write a poem that. about this. Don't you? No. I, I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Yes, Monica. It's her. Yeah. Manisa. Oh, there's no regular Monica's here. N. For N-word. Good god. Oh, that looks like a happy face. Huh? The Moniku looks like a happy face. She's not jumping. Why aren't you jumping, Monica? Uh, I don't know. Monica. 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 <laughs> Monica. Monica. Monique. Monica. And Monac. Hi again, Abel. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, Bell. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let's dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. 
I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. Also, were they about her, like, her realizing she was real? I feel like, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the vibe I got. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game, like everyone else. Oh, interesting. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I want to know more about Natsuki now. Because she seemed pretty based. Based? <laughs> I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Abel? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Uh -huh. <laughs> Guys? What? Bro, how the fuck does she know, bro? <laughs> Monica, mind your business. What if she like, what if like somehow, oh, she's not gonna have it. What if she like, like, who are those other two people you're talking to? <laughs> <laughs> um, hi everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. But, uh, chat, go say hi to Monica. Now! But do you mind telling your friends? It's a little... Oh. Friend? Singular? But do you mind telling your friend it's a little rude for them to start recording me without any warning? Uh, it's me. It's not my friend, Monica. It's me. I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? Do we want to see a trick, guys? I mean, sure. Not a scary one. Not a scary one? I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? Are we ready, guys? Yeah. Yes. The hell? Just zooming in? Look at my beauty. Aren't I beautiful? I'm just kidding. Huh? I can't do anything after all. <laughs> mm. If you get me... Oh shit! Did I? S oh. <laughs> that scared you? I was. King Monica, bro. You hate her? <laughs> what happened to you? King scared me. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Did I scare oh. you? You scared Nia, Monica. Yes, girl. <laughs> You're so cute. Anyway, Abel, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Um, even though it's your fault for distracting me. Okay, sure, sure, Monica. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun, as long as it's with you. But anyway, um, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll, I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we could just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. I think this is when we uh, delete our file. I don't think I'm going to delete her file. You keep her there. I mean, it would kind of be a, what do you call it, mercy, you know, to put her out of her misery. Mm -hmm. But you always want to come back to your little Monica. Okay, everyone. Don't bite. It's time to... I'm just kidding. I just used to really like saying that for some reason. We noticed. <laughs> I couldn't help but say it again. Come to think of it, didn't Natsuki and Yuri make fun of me for it once? Well, whatever. It's not like you ever made fun of me. You're too much of a sweetheart to do that, aren't you? <laughs> so she's like, she finally has us here, right? But we can't really talk back to her. But she knows we're here. So she could talk to us, right? But like, yes. at the same time, doesn't she know that eventually, like... Like, we're not gonna sit here forever, you know? <laughs> yeah. Do you think she's gonna try to keep us from leaving? I think so. I think she's not gonna let us close the game. 
Oh, the, the fucking the thing isn't down here, so I can't even. Oh shit. Y you ever have that thing happen where you just get anxious for no reason? Like you're just minding your own business and you realize you're feeling really anxious and, and you're sitting there like, what am I even anxious about right now? So you start to think about all the things you might be anxious about and, and that makes you even more anxious. <laughs> that, that's the worst. If you're ever feeling anxious, I hope you relax a little. In what way? Besides, <laughs> in this game, all our worries are gone forever. I feel bad for her. I do. Okay. So, uh, like, obviously, like, we're in the real world, right? Monica's just uh -huh. code, right? Like, she isn't actually, oh, fuck. She isn't actually here. But, like, this game was amazing. Like, the premise, right? Just the idea of one of the characters being, you know, sentient, or semi sentient at least. Amazing. Mm hmm. Amazing. This is the- I haven't played a lot of story games, so this is probably why I'm saying it, but this is the best story game I've ever played. I don't know about you guys. Yeah. It's a good story game. Yeah. Just- I don't know, I never thought- I mean, I don't really play a lot of games, mm -hmm. but I didn't think that, like, this level of, like, interactiveness was, like, possible, you know? And it's yeah, so good. Yeah. I'll be honest, I kind of- when we did the vote, right, for uh, which game we were going to play way back when, mm -hmm. I wanted No Good Noel to win. But bro, this game is so fucking good. <laughs> I'm glad this game won. I'm also glad no. I think good it's gonna short. stay one of the best ones. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I've been imagining all the romantic things we could do if we went on a date. We could get lunch, go to a cafe, go shopping together. I love shopping for skirts and bows. Bows. Bow. Store. Bows. My bad. That would be appropriate, right? But I'd really love to go to a chocolate store. They have so many free samples. <laughs> and of course, we'd see a movie or something. Gosh, it all sounds like a dream come true. When you're here, everything that we do is fun. I'd assume so, since, you know, the only person you could talk to. I'm so happy I'm your girlfriend, Abel. I'll make you a proud boyfriend. I hate my name in this. <laughs> I'll say she, it again. She I... did just say she doesn't know if we're a boy or a girl. Why is she assuming now? If you could actually interact with her, like, like text, like if they had like an AI. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Like, what if this game came out like eight years from now, right? When AI is actually like ridiculous, like yeah. basically like, like sentient, right? <laughs> Not sentient. That's the wrong word, but like you know what I mean. Yeah. Like chat DPT, but even better. Yeah. Like, imagine how crazy this game could be. Like adapting on the fly, you know? Yeah. Uh, I think it would be scary because. I'm sure that there are lonely people out there, and having that oh, there yeah, yeah, yeah. would be really not good for their mental health. Talking to Monica all day long, twenty four seven. Yeah, like like their real like virtual girlfriend, mm -hmm. and, like they actually let her know like what they did and all that, and like use her as validation. Yeah, that'd be scary. And, and it's like this, like Monica's like you know staring at you. Yeah. And it's like she's coming up with like actual good sentences because AI is so good. Mm hmm. I'm telling you, man, androids are, they're, they're going to be bad in the future, man. They're, people are going to get a little too obsessed with them. Yeah, you didn't even see that, uh, that recently, uh, never mind, the android thing. No? There's these, like, uh, <laughs> there's these robots that were recently made, uh, for provocative means. Yeah, and yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. I, I think I sent a photo of it into the chat. It was insane. Yeah, like, not, not like, now, moving. obviously, but, like, you know, give it three decades, maybe? I don't know, maybe? Nah, I think we're, like, Right around the corner, like maybe like that, five to ten years. I don't think so. Uh, yes. The, the, are... For for fully realistic, actual not full, human not... looking androids that have AI that are basically indistinguishable from sentience. That's a good couple. No, decades not away. like okay. That's like yeah, a couple decades. But I'm like in the ten years, we're probably gonna have like a decent like uh, you know, a decent uh, like you know the robot from Rick and Morty, the sex box from never Rick and Morty. That. You never watched Rick and Morty? No. Do you guys think we're gonna have like real Wallies? We probably will, honestly. We'll see. We'll see. Like you just go around picking up trash. Oh my god! <gasps> and then we leave him alone. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, have you ever heard of the term? How do you say that, Bill? Yandere. Yandere? It's a personality type that means someone is obsessed with you. Oh my bad. So obsessed with you that they'll do absolutely anything to be with you. Usually to the point of craziness. They might stalk you to make sure you don't spend time with anyone else. 
They might even hurt you or your friends to get their way. But anyway, this game happens to have someone who can basically be described as Yandere. By now, it's pretty obvious who I'm talking about. And that would be... Yuri! She really got insanely possessive of you. Once she started to open up a little, she even told me I should kill myself. I couldn't even believe she said that. I, I just had to leave at that point. Oh, two people. Thinking about it, it was a little ironic. <laughs> anyway, a lot of people are actually into the Andre type, you know? I guess they yeah. really like the idea of someone being crazy obsessed with them. You agree with that, Abel? I mean, yeah. Like, it's understandable why somebody would be obsessed with the type. Because the idea of somebody being obsessed with somebody else or being obsessed with you is kind of nice. It, it depends on how obsessed, but yeah, that's true. People are weird. I don't judge, though. Also, I might be a little obsessed with you, but I'm far from crazy. It's kind of the opposite, actually. I turned out to be the only normal girl in this game. Is that true? Oh, well, she's technically too normal. Yeah, that's true. She's not wrong, though. It's not like I could ever actually kill a person. Just the thought of it makes me shiver. But come on. Everyone's killed people in games before. She's that right. Make you a psychopath? Of course not. But if you do happen to be into the Yandere type, I can try acting a little more creepy for you. <laughs> then again, there's already nowhere else for you to go or anyone for me to get jealous over. Is this a Yandere girl's dream? I'd ask Yuri if I could. Adios. What happens? <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. What just happened? Oh, shit. She doesn't know? I, I just had an awful dream. I was hoping those would stop. Now that it's just the two of us. I guess that was wishful thinking. About, I don't know if you would have any idea, but if you know what might be causing that, could you try to do something about it? Ah, oh, shit. She dreams when we're not here? Mm. Whenever it happens, it almost feels like I've been killed or something. It's a really horrible feeling. Ah, oh, okay, make us feel bad, huh? If you can figure out what's causing that, I'll love you forever. Oh my fucking god. So she just god. goes unconscious when we're gone. I'm assuming. I feel bad for her, she's just stuck there forever. I feel really bad for her. Monica, very sorry for what I'm about to do. Amazing game. Deuces. Absolutely amazing game. Monica.